Hey guys, it's Trina, and I decided randomly to just kind of do a car vlog because I wanted to talk about a conversation that's been going on around booktube, and this is definitely not a new conversation. The thing I'm talking about is the question of why is YA so prevalent on booktube? Every once in a while I hear people saying there are too many channels that talk about the same YA books, and there aren't any channels talking about adult books, or middle grade books, or those channels don't get any notice, and I think that's not true. I think that there are a lot of channels that read a mix that have plenty of notice, even if maybe they don't have have the same number count, they are highly appreciated and have a ton of interactions. There are channels out there talking about books other than YA. So why is it that YA is so prevalent on booktube? Well, when you think about it, I really think it's kind of an age thing. And there are plenty of readers that are older readers who are reading YA, and I'll get to that in just a minute. But I've heard before and this, I didn't look it up, so I could be totally quoting a totally misleading statistic right now. But I've heard before, and I have really good reason to believe that this is true, that the majority of users on YouTube are under the age of 20. This makes a ton of sense, because the younger generations are very connected today. They grew up, and internet was always around. So the people that grew up in this age of connectivity are very much more likely to have a YouTube channel. This is how people connect these days. Social media is a social norm now. So I think that it kind of just follows reason that the majority of people talking about any subject on YouTube are probably going to be a little bit younger because that generation is like on it. So if the majority of people doing anything, and in this case booktube, are younger, then it does make sense that they would be talking about books aimed towards a younger demographic. There are a ton of booktubers who have been around on YouTube for like five, ten years, and back then maybe they were an older teenager, but they were a teenager reading the popular teenage books like The Mortal Instruments. And then when you get into an author that you really love that impacted your life, you're not going to just quit reading that author or quit reading other books like that. So as they've grown, even though they're no longer a teenager, they are still reading within YA. And then there are people who are teenagers who are reading YA because that's their age demographic. It definitely makes sense to me that if the majority of people using YouTube happen to be younger, we probably are going to have a lot of channels focusing on books targeted towards a younger audience. Like, I do want to talk more about the psychological side of why YA is so popular too, because you don't have to be young to read YA. Take it from me. I am 30 years old and I probably read a majority of YA books. I know I read a majority of YA books, I think for like four months everything I had read were all YA and that's kind of normal for me. I've been reading YA books since way before I was on booktube and that's because the book blogs or the people that I followed on Twitter happened to be people that read a lot of YA. Hype these days is really largely driven by social media and who is on social media the most? The young adults. So books that are YA are getting the most emphasis in marketing and have the biggest community around them because that's who is on social media. You don't have to be young to be on social media. Take it from me again. I, I'm not saying that at all, but I'm saying that it seems to be a majority. The other side to hype, especially with books, is that there is groupthink in a booktube. All right, I had to move because somebody pulled up beside me and was just sitting there. But um, anyway, I also wanted to talk about groupthink and how it affects what is popular on booktube. If you aren't familiar with the term groupthink, it's a term that I learned when I was studying psychology. I do have a degree in psychology, but I do not use it, so definitely don't take my word for any of this or anything, but I'll do my best to explain. Groupthink is just a naturally occurring phenomenon in which if you put a bunch of people together in a group, they tend to express the same opinions. Like if one person starts saying, hey, I feel this way about that one thing, more people that feel that way are going to start chiming in because they find a place that is accepting of their ideas. And then other people, maybe somebody doesn't have a strong opinion on it one way or the other, but they're going to start saying that they agree because they want to fit in and go with the crowd. Or people that maybe completely disagree, they don't want to speak up because they now see all these other people are talking about this one thing and they don't want to possibly cause a riot or something if they try to oppose it. Groupthink is a very natural 
psychological phenomenon. There's nothing wrong with groupthink. Tons of studies have been done about it. It just happens. Chances are it happens to every single person at some point in their lives. And now, of course, it can definitely lead to some dangerous situations. But when we're talking about books on booktube, groupthink is not a bad thing. Like, think about, have you ever been doing a buddy read with somebody and that other person or people in that group point out something that you didn't notice about the book? And then you find yourself thinking about it and going, well, yeah, I kind of agree with that. But you wouldn't have noticed that or liked that about the book if you had just been left to your own. So when we watch videos of other people talking about certain books, sometimes they point out things that maybe we wouldn't have noticed otherwise, but now we start talking about them too because that's what's being talked about. And so the same thing goes along with the books that we are picking up. The people who started out on a booktube years ago that were younger and therefore reading the YA books as their channels have grown and more people are watching them because they're so well established, if people watch them and say they're reading this type of book and I want to talk to them about it too, of course more people are going to start picking up those types of books and then it just grows and grows and grows. People want to be able to discuss books and if you love reading, you're going to want to join in because it's a way in which you can talk about books even if maybe you would have picked them up otherwise. Like any community that's based on reviews, you're going to have people picking something up because somebody else recommended it. It's not a bad thing to read something that you wouldn't have normally picked up. It's also not a good thing to only read things you wouldn't have otherwise picked up. So basically, I'm not coming down on one side or the other of it. I'm just saying that I really think that YA being so popular is not a bad thing. And there are these reasons behind it, talking about the generation age, like, who is online, who is making videos, and the phenomenon of groupthink, and none of it's bad. None of that is a bad thing at all. And yeah, I can understand why sometimes it may feel annoying if you aren't finding people that discuss the same types of books as you, but if you aren't, make that channel. So if you want to do something different, do it. If you want to do something the same, do it. There's nothing wrong with either one, and this isn't a video to make a point about what anybody should or should not be reading. It's just a video to present kind of what I feel like why YA is so popular. I've been thinking about and kind of observing the ways in which group think manifests on booktube ever since I've joined. It's something that I've been really interested in, seeing how people tend to rate the books the same way or how if one voice pops up and says, oh, well, I hated this really popular book, all of a sudden, like a dozen more voices are going to pop up saying the same thing because they were just waiting for that first person to kind of say it. Uh, it's, or at least that's what the trends seem to be in my opinion and like when someone does something then other people start doing it too but, but those are my thoughts so hope you guys enjoyed this car vlog I just thought it would be easy to do this instead of trying to go home and set everything up and whatever so anyway thank you for watching let me know what you guys think on this topic and I will see you guys in the comments bye